what kind of feedback have you gotten since you put out this list and, and who are these people? How'd you come up with them? You know, so first of all, the feedback has been tremendous. And I think one of the reasons is we all know that gender diversity is a very hot topic, um, certainly inside the tech community. But I think one of the things people are craving right now is very tangible solutions. Like, you know, I want to help, what can I do? Right. Um, the board list, on the other hand, is not a list that was curated by me. It was curated by a community of tech leaders. Uh, the board list is the founding initiative of a project that I founded called Change right. Possi Choose Possibility. And most of these women, I presume, aren't on boards right now. And, and some are, some aren't. So what's been very interesting is I took the approach of crowdsourcing, building a tool, and I went out to 50 highly credible leaders in the Silicon Valley community to seed the database. Everyone from Aaron Levy at Box, to Phil Marketo at, uh, at Phil Fernandez at Marketo, to Stephanie Telenius, who runs Vita, and I said to them, if you were to nominate 5, 10, 20, 30 women who you thought you would personally endorse for a private tech board, who would it be? Um, and they all responded overwhelmingly with, I have names for you, and came together to actually see this project called The Board List. Anna, what do you think about this? Because LaunchX actually helps female-led startups get resources they need, get, get things like funding. What do you think about what Sue Kinder's done? Yeah, I think, so I spent the last year at Harvard Business School really studying what we mean when we say there's a gender diversity problem in tech. Mm -hmm. And what I realized, uh, sort of the bad outcome of the research was that there isn't one root cause that we can all rally behind mm -hmm. and try to fix. There are a lot of little things that sort of create this perfect storm that we're in. The number that really stood out to me uh, that LaunchX tries to fix is that out of all the venture capital money deployed, only 2.7% of that goes to female-led companies. Um, and when I sort of dug into more of that research, I realized it's because there's this huge information gap and women don't know how to navigate this black box of a fundraising process the same way that men do. You know, it's interesting, Sue Kinder, because companies are staying private longer, mm -hmm. which means boards are, are even more important, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, we often talk about gender diversity as a public board problem. I'm not really sure why. If you look at the average length of a company's history before it goes public, it can be 10 years now, right? Mm -hmm. And from Series B to Series F, when you're, you have a company that's taking anywhere from $20 million in capital to several hundred million, of course, the idea of independent thought and operational expertise on your board is an unrealized opportunity, yet so few companies take advantage of it. Is it as easy, Anna, as looking at Sue Kinder's li list and picking out a couple candidates for your board? <laughs> you know, that's meant to be that easy. <laughs> yeah, no, I think to have someone of Sue Kinder's caliber and reputation be a part of this, I think is uh, speaks volumes for where this is going to go in the next 10 to 15 years. I think Sakinder's approach is much more top-down, uh, where women are sort of in this position of power on the board level. What we're trying to do at LaunchX is much more bottoms up, uh, and to give first-time female, uh, female entrepreneurs the ability to raise money for the first time. You know, it's interesting because in Europe they've mandated mm -hmm. that diversity on boards. Do you think that we need that here in the United States? No, I'm, I'm actually, I am not a fan of quotas. What I am a fan now, and I think she just hit it, you know, right now gender diversity is something we need to be attacking at all levels, right? How do you create a more diverse environment inside your organizations? How do we have more women um, able to fundraise for their companies, right. particularly when there's so many fabulous women-led companies out there? Um, but I think when we just step back, yeah, I don't think it's about quotas. I think it's about access to talent. And my point overall earlier this week was when we launched is how can we be the world's leading talent economy and right. not be harnessing 100% of our talent? How's that okay. possible? Well, I, I was happy to see the list. Uh, really, really thank you so much for raising these issues here on the show. So